There are over three and a half million people in the UK battling with chronic kidney disease. While one million remain undiagnosed, those with diabetes, high blood pressure, or cardiovascular disease are at the highest risk. In the early stages, this disease is silent, revealing itself as it advances. Blood in urine, swollen feet, muscle cramps, and itchy skin are some of the signs of its progression. There are five stages of chronic kidney disease or CKD, and it can only be diagnosed with blood and urine tests. Sadly, there is no cure for CKD, but treatments can ease symptoms and prevent it from worsening. The illness has been found to have a disproportionate impact on all patients of black ethnicity, with stark inequalities in diagnosis and treatment. Patients from black, Asian, and other minority ethnic backgrounds are five times more likely to require dialysis than their white counterparts. This is, in part, due to higher levels of diabetes and high blood pressure in these communities, two known risk factors for CKD. Until recently, kidney test results for people of black heritage were adjusted, causing some patients' kidney function to seem healthier than it truly was. This resulted in a delay in treatment for some patients, worsening the situation. Happily, NICE, the National Institute for Health and Care Excellence, no longer recommends this adjustment, a change that is expected to help catch and treat the disease early in many patients. This news offers hope to patients like Dee Moore who was diagnosed with stage 4 kidney disease in 2018. In the face of such a diagnosis, Dee chose to fight and share her story by broadcasting messages of hope and encouragement from her Birmingham home to kidney patients across the world. Four years on, Dee has created the Diary of a Kidney Warrior podcast, a platform where she reaches out to other patients with CKD, sharing knowledge, hope, and encouragement. Her mission, to help empower others with the knowledge they need to thrive with their illness and to help health professionals change the trajectory of kidney disease in black communities.